Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Lucy here, and I am joined by Cam. Hey, Lucy, how you doing? I am well, Cam. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Excellent. So today we are here to dissect the trailer for Disney Infinity 3.0: The Force <laughs> Awakens playset. I'm so glad you got that right because it's it would have been an embarrassing way to start this rewind. It is a mouthful. Um, now obviously, you know, we need to sort of start off this conversation by saying. There are going to be some liberties taken when it comes to Disney Infinity. Of course, games. Yeah, of course. You know, like we, we can't we can't sort of go. Oh well, this, this is this I exactly how it's going to roll I'd, out. I'd describe some of this stuff as canon esque. Canon esque is a really really nice way uh, to look at it. But uh, you know, with that said, we've we've also we're seeing some stuff that we haven't seen before. The, the great thing about what this trailer does is it recreates stuff from trailers that we've already seen from The Force Awakens. Yeah. Uh, so it's this cool kind of. Disney Infinity homage to that to what we're going to see in the film, yeah, because that's the whole point. It's, it's you know it's, it's playing through the highlights of the Force Awakened. Exactly, I almost feel Force sort Awakened. Of like I, so it's it's it's, it's, it's not happened. past tense yet. I sort of feel like warmly nostalgic to it, which is oh, which is so bit, weird, which is ridiculous. But considering we've all, all we've seen is trailers. Yeah, but we've seen all this footage so many times. It's like oh, that's, oh, that part, yeah. that amazing part. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So yep. obviously, um, we open on Jakku with Rey on her speeder. Which mirrors the opening of the second teaser. Yep. As the she down drives star, down, the down to the sorry, Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer, yep. that's right. Um, so yeah, that's from that's from the, the second teaser. And then we jump basically to her inside the Star Destroyer, so which she's we not, saw yeah, in the Yeah, She's final not in trailer. her scavenger uh, outfit that we see her in uh, from that trailer. No, she's much she's much more sort of This is the classic cuz is you know the character you're playing so exactly. it's, it's it needs to be unified. And it's a very different shot of, of of inside that as well. Yeah, I like it. I mean, uh, you know, in in the the final trailer it was really sort of drenched in shadow and we couldn't really see a hell of a lot and it was very moody. But this is nice. I mean, it sort of looks it's got a kind of it's almost got like a tomb raider-esque <clears throat> kind of vibe to it, it in does. this shot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there she's having a bit of a look around. Right, so here, this is Finn's crashed TIE fighter on Jakku. Yep, still on Jakku. Um, now, there's an interesting piece of dialogue that help. plays here. We need help, help and hope now more than ever um, with, this, with this shot of Finn. So, obviously, appealing to Finn. Mm -hmm. um, and we can safely assume, even though it sounds absolutely nothing like Carrie nope. Fisher, nope. Uh, that this is that this is Leia talking. It's it, it does seem to be like a, a wise mentor, uh, kind of piece of uh, like uh, in, in entreaty, you know. It does. And, and it's not necessarily to Finn either. It could be could be to Ray. Um, yeah, well, it could be, or it could be to both of them. You know, as yep. as we've okay. seen from the trailers, uh, they really do kind of operate. Uh, as a pair, and they, they certainly seem to be going on this journey of discovery yep. as a pair. Yep. Um, and uh, and here we see, uh, you know, like there's that great shot from the very first teaser of Finn standing up in his stormtrooper outfit and just like looking around wildly. Yeah. And he's always got that kind of expression. He on does, his face. even even in his Disney Infinity form, yeah, he's got his classic. What the hell is going on? Well, here? I mean, let's face it. He's just busted out of we think maybe, uh, you know, a star destroyer, yep. and just crash landed on a planet. I think it's fair enough for him to look like that, frankly. It's true. Actually, you'd think he'd be a little yeah. bit more torn up. Yeah. Um, all right. So, Kylo Ren here on his command deck. And who is that next to him, Lucy? Who is this next to him? <laughs> that's a, that's I, a good question, it right? It is a very good question. I mean, I immediately uh, assumed it was it was General Hux. But then, of course, uh, from what we've seen in General Hux, he's generally uh, dressed in black. Mm. Um, and this is very much not like... Uh, the outfit that he usually wears. Mm. I mean, he this ca this character is in sort of blue or, or grey, and and um, it's I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. Yeah. I mean, I maybe it's General Hux in a different outfit, but still, in in Disney Infinity, where basically all their their outfits are kind of shorthand yeah. for what they'd actually be wearing, yeah. that doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. So at this point, I'm I'm not sure who this character what is. What I really like though is that even though this is a Disney Infinity trailer. And so, obviously, it's a much more cartoony representation mm. of this world and all that stuff. I still really like the way it's edited because we've got that line, we need help and hope now more than ever. And the now more than ever line is delivered over this pitched battle. Yeah. You know, where it's like, it's life and death. It's, you know, there's high, very high stakes even even here. It's cool. Yeah. And that clenched fist. And then into the, yeah, the clenched fist, like, okay, yeah. so, yeah. First order's coming, baby. Yeah. That's it. Oh, let's go back a little bit. Okay, so we've got Poe here, um, and we are assuming uh, that he, he is on Takadana here. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and he's obviously getting ready for for a battle here. Yeah, because we've seen, you know, in the actual film trailers, uh, you know, the, the First Order coming in and destroying that kind of ancient castle, whether that is Kanata's or, or not. I mean, mm. we assume it we probably assume is. It is. Yep. Uh, and, then, and then battles kind of, uh, you know, over that, that lake and that whole area. Yeah. Uh, and this is the, the, the sequence, we assume, uh, where Poe and Finn... Yeah, they have that sort other. of moment of camaraderie, yep. which I really like. I just think that's yep. such a lovely little touch in, the, in that final trailer. Yeah. All right, moving on. So here they are leaving. Yeah, and, and that presumably, uh, you know, seeks into that great shot of the, the X-Wings coming in low on the horizon over the lake towards the castle yep. from, from previous trailers. I love it how we're just talking about this as if it's like a new trailer in the sequence because I think we've been so trained to like, you know, well, each new piece of Force Awakens... Yeah. You know, footage that comes along, we try and fit it into. It's like well, it's like a before. giant puzzle, you know. But this is this is the this the really fun part of the trailer for me. This is definitely this is definitely the money shot. Um, this is uh, obviously Finn taking on stormtroopers on inside what we can assume is that star destroyer. Mm. Um, in his stormtrooper outfit. Yeah. I mean, like we we haven't seen him with his blaster. We haven't seen this kind of action from him before. Yeah, we've seen the uh, the, the escape uh, off the Star Destroyer, yep. but we haven't actually seen anything before. So, yeah, whether that's this or not, it's it's cool to think that it is. I don't well, know. Well, I mean, it would be great. It would be great if there was a, a, a sort of incredibly uh, kind of climactic epic battle at the very beginning of The Force Awakens involving Finn taking on stormtroopers in this way. I just... Some, seems, yeah, it seems, seems a little. It seems a little unlikely. What I love, right, is I guess because it's Disney Infinity and they don't want him to just be killing people in this trailer, yeah. but like to me what I like is that like watch this watch watch his lights watch his, watch his blaster shots miss 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 miss, miss. miss. just nothing but missing <laughs> that's just like classic stormtrooper even though we know in the force awakens the stormtroopers are kind of a bit more competent than yeah. they used to be but i just love that he's running along maybe he doesn't want to kill them because he he's just trying to get out of there yeah oh uh, we are reading way too much into this <laughs> let's move on okay and again we are still uh, this is another this is another kind of leap of logic here for me um, obviously, we're still inside the this same. This is a fan service. Yeah, shot, this if ever is there was one. exactly. I mean, we're inside the same uh, interior of of this um, star destroyer, uh, which incidentally um, might, you know, just just as a as an aside, not directly related to this yep, trailer. Yep. Uh, but there are theories that it is actually the last um, the last star destroyer that these guys have. So the first order have like the first it, order in actually kind of in slash their, in, their, Empire in their fleet has in their fleet. Right. So and you know in all it's not it's not ridiculously unlikely that Kylo Ren would be on this star destroyer, but I really don't think that he is going to be there to yeah, especially face since they've, off they've with come Finn. to Jakku for yeah, <laughs> yeah like a big reason, right? So yeah, no, they're not going to face off. But I like I like the idea that you know that that basically Disney Infinity is remixing it in this yeah. way. I think that's fun. And I love this uh, this little sequence here too. Yeah, this is awesome. This is so awesome. I mean, again, like we've, we'd sort of seen Finn's escape in previous trailers, but I really love the, the point of view here. Mm. And it's just, it, you know, it, it, it evokes that, that classic sort of um, Star Wars like tunnel vision kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I just, I think it's, it's beautiful. And then that kind of moves into a, a few kind of quick shots uh, of the, the, the Falcon like dogfight on Jakku that we've seen before. Uh, Ray, you know, you know, showing off uh, her, her her skills. We've seen her doing this on Jakku before as well. I, I like this though. I really like that we're seeing Ray um, properly kind of fighting. Yep. Um, yep. Like we haven't really seen her be such a badass before. I mean, we wouldn't, neither of our protagonists have really shown what they can actually do at but this point. But we have point. seen her, her wield, uh, you know, like a weapon like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, look at these mad skills as well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And a little bit of BB-8. Looking adorable, making adorable sounds. Making adorable Classic. sounds. I mean, uh, obviously, the Japanese version of this uh, Disney Infinity 3 trailer is just BB-8. Obviously. No, I just liked it how the Japanese trailer... Remember, it like really opened and played on the BB-8 angle before yeah. moving into the really dark stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, so um, that's that's um that shot of Finn and Ray running for their lives on Jakku. Yep. Um very, very different interpretation of it, but mm. it's just, you know, the game Yeah. The game world interpretation. Yep. Uh yeah, the the dog fight. On Takadata. That's it. Um so yeah, this is again that attack if you just go back. Yep. Um this is the attack on, on, on the castle, the Disney Infinity version. Yep. Um, of the attack on that castle, which is going to be... Uh, which has a satellite-ish, and, well, you know, it might just be a liberal interpretation of it. We might be interpreting this completely wrong, uh, but that's what it seems to be to me. Yeah. That's That was my initial impression, at least. Uh, and then, money shot. Yep. So, uh, yeah, again, another familiar shot with a very in different interpretation of mm. the setting. Because, yeah, the, the, the shot we've seen of this is... is there's the castle kind of ruins yep. behind them. It's obviously the same location, but it's you know the you know whatever this area, um, yeah. However, it's it's set out. So also, Old Han looks like a. Re I mean, not that he doesn't look like a, a badass in the trailers, but he looks like a real badass in, in in this trailer. Yeah, they both look awesome. I mean, he looks he looks like a young Han just with white hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he looks very stoic, doesn't he? He sure does. Space battles, Jakku. And All then, right. here we go. So, again, this is the Kylo and Finn confrontation, um, which the the environment is, is incredibly different. Yep. It does, I mean, it, it does give uh, some, I, I guess, a, a better context of where they are. Um, yet at the same time, I don't think that this kind of imperial base is going to be that close. No, no, no. But this is this is this is convenience for the game's sake because obviously it condenses everything down. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're in you know like a much more sparsely populated forest on the edge of a base in the day, so totally different. But it is still cool to see that reverse angle um, shot with with something in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, where where that is is open to interpretation. It is open to interpretation, and you know one such interpretation is that. This whole snow planet that we've been talking about is, in fact, Starkiller. Yeah. I mean, the whole planet is Starkiller. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which I think would be would be really cool. And very in line with, you know, the whole like uh, Imperial slash First Order ethos of grandiose weapons of destruction. That is exactly right. Um, but yeah, it's 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 great, and I I love again. I love how they've captured this sort of terror on Finn's face mm. as Kylo is basically just going to uh, get, I, basically going to take that saber yeah, away from I, I would look a lot more scared than that so <laughs> I think he's keeping it together pretty well and then boom confrontation we actually see their lightsabers clash uh, and yeah I, even like the, the kind of rustic nature of the way Kylo's lightsaber uh, has been portrayed in, in the game as well yeah well that whole sort of makeshift exactly. like put together with tape kind of thing yep um, so that's it. Yep. Uh, that is the Disney Infinity 3.0 Force Awakens playset trailer. Well done. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, again, I think it's, it, it looks a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I can't actually wait to get my hands on this one. Yeah, like I haven't played a huge amount of Disney Infinity 3, but I, I know it's, it's a really good game and, uh, yeah, all the Star Wars stuff seems, uh, great for the fans. Yeah. So, Yeah. All right, that's been us uh, for everything else Disney Infinity and for everything else Star Wars The Force Awakens, more importantly. Stick with IGN. Yep. Bye. Bye.